Man, it's been a minute. We're going to go in real quick on Charleston White. Now, uh, him talking to Kevin Gates, we'll get to that in a second. Allegedly, they're buddy buddies. Some people are saying Kevin Gates is going to backdoor Charleston White. That's based on some other bullshit that went down. Um, I'm going to put the link in the comment section. Two different links to two different videos. One video is going to be the convo that shows them conversating, supposedly Lady in the Tramp style, practically planning on sharing the same noodle, the same linguine, and having their pursed lips pressed up against each other in the moonlight, sweat covered in the brows, all breathing all heavy. You know what I'm saying? That's seemingly going that route, right? But there's another video I'm going to put the link of in the comment section showing, say, Cheese talking about Kevin Gates playing it cool with him and then swinging on him out of nowhere, right? So that's why people are saying Kevin Gates supposedly is going to backdoor possibly Charleston White, allegedly, or whatever. But more importantly, Charleston White, fool, masquerading as a digital shaman, claiming that he's doing good, you know what I mean? That he does things to cover his own ass only. 99% of the time, he's throwing fuel on the flames. You're drinking in the nightclub, shooting yourself, being delirious with a loaded firearm on you. You're telling people that you'll never shoot a fair one or fight like a man. You'll only shoot people and kill them. And then you're baiting people into altercations. It is self-explanatory, homie, but drinking in the nightclub with a strap on him and, and inevitably shooting himself. And then trying to profit off it in some stupid, I can't even remember the slogan he came up with it, t-shirt saying, yeah, I shot myself, uh, trying to make a joke out of it. Bruh, that's pathetic, that's the kind of shit you go in on people for. I mean, you make fun of people who have done far less, and talk mad shit about them, and even wish death upon them, and even try to set them up. You know what I mean? Bruh, that's the definition of hypocrisy, you know? That man is always just woofing how capable he is and how he's got buddies and friends that are cops and shares and all these different people and stuff that's got it back. You know what I mean? The people you wouldn't expect to have somebody like Charleston White's back. That's his whole fucking, I'm um, shock value controversial, homie, this and that. Bro, he ain't on shit. You know what I mean? Charleston White. Anyways, the shit that he's doing aside from drinking in the nightclub, whoop de whoop um, I've seen him get into conversations with respectable dudes and go in on these dudes and they'll be like, wait a minute, it's basically saying you're not doing anything for anybody. And it's some dude that's doing a lot of community work. It's documented that he's convinced a lot of people to try to go a legal route with their life and they've succeeded. You know what I mean? Based on his advice. Right. I don't like to name names, get too into it. We're going to keep it simple. But the shit that Charleston White is accusing dude of is hypocritical, bro, saying that he hasn't done anything for the community, then claiming that he has because he's so uh, so-called equipping people, because dude's like, well, what have you done, man? You're saying I haven't done anything. I got it documented. What have you done? Charleston White, I'm equipping people because two out of three are inevitably going to die or end up in prison, so I'm going to equip them so they have a better chance at overcoming threats or doing as much damage as they possibly can on their path to death or destruction. <laughs> Basically, by being a sinister, negative asshole, he's conditioning people to a shitty-ass, turmoil, chaotic life. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like, it's hypocritical. I mean, you got to try to evolve at some point. Somebody obviously wronged that man. You know, might have started when he was young. Like, a lot of us, homie, we, you know, getting this shit when we're young, homie, that affects us for a life, uh, lifespan. You know what I mean? So, you know, unfortunately, majority can't evolve past the bullshit. I'm trying my best. And nobody's perfect. But to knowingly and intentionally keep yourself relevant in the public eye by throwing fuel on the flames and by exhibiting the same hypocritical behavior that you go in on people for, you know what I mean? Like if I was drinking and shot myself in the leg, I'd be ashamed of myself. I mean, I wouldn't make any t-shirt and try to profit off it. I'd be like, bro, I was the very overgrown toddler that I've been speaking on. That's shame. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody perfect. We all make mistakes, but come on, bro. That's some catfish shit. That's the bar is low shit, homie. You know what I mean? And people flock to controversy. They flock to shock value. The more ignorant you are, the more you're willing to take things to a certain degree in a certain fashion or form that many aren't, the more people are going to gravitate toward you. It doesn't matter how full of shit you are. It doesn't matter how... He's not stupid. He's ignorant. You know what I mean? That's where the accountability lies on him. You feel me? Because he's aware of what he's doing. He's benefiting and profiting off of what he's doing intentionally and knowingly. You know what I'm saying? That's not stupidity. That's ignorance, homie. You know what I mean? This ain't rocket science, but it is what it is. I mean, let me know what you think of the situation. Hit that notification button if you haven't already. Are you a fan of Charleston White? If you are, be honest in the comment section. I really don't have any expectations or hate for anybody regardless. Fool, I'm just trying to clarify reality. Like, The dude is basically glorified by his fan base that's ever-growing. You know what I mean? He's like Orlando Brown that did time in a prison over there in one of the southern states. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they're all lining up. He's practically dressing up like Santa Claus at this point, and you're sitting doing 360 pivots on this bottom-feeding catfish of genitalia who basically has a diet consisting mainly of 
crustacean excrement, homie, meaning that he's eating the shit of crawfish. That's what I think of Charleston White. Yeah, baby. <laughs>